Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're back with another review. And today we're taking a look at Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Line Sideswipe. And let me just say, right off the top, this is a terrible figure. Unfortunately, there are some design flaws that just make it completely unplayable. We're going to start off in vehicle mode because um, those design flaws are better shown to you, the viewer, going from car to robot. Um, car mode is really actually the best mode here, but unfortunately uh, there is one little bit of an issue that's not showing up well on my camera. This section, the doors, and this little, well not this top part, but that's actually a different shade of red than the rest of the body. The reason being is it's that clear smoky uh, plastic just painted over in red. Now Hasbro and Takara both know how to properly paint clear plastic so it matches. But unfortunately, I guess that's a little bit more in the design budget and thus not done. Um, what that means though is you have rather thin plastic that could be a little bit on the fragile side in rather key areas. You do have it pegging in here on the side and over time I feel those pegs could break. Overall, the figure does feel very flimsy. The plastic feels very thin and cheap. Now, in, I, forgot, I didn't mention this with Jazz. Jazz's plastic feels thin, but very sturdy and rigid. But compared to, say, the current Combiner Wars Generations line of the Lux class figures, the, the plastic is missing the heft. Now, for weapon storage, much like Jazz, there really isn't a proper spot for weapon storage. As you can see here, I did find a way to slide the sword in uh, off to the side. There are grooves here, and it could, and it does fit, and really doesn't get in the way. Unfortunately, what does get in the way is this chest plate here and the cow lip on the front of Sideswipe's head. By the way, unlike Jazz and some of the other uh, warrior figures, you can't rotate the head around because then the hood of the car will not fold in flush. Um, th and that drags on the ground. The wheels roll. I mean, the wheels are touching, but so is the cow lip and that chest plate. Now, there is that little notch right here at the top, and you can actually peg the sword blade in just like that, from the hilt on either side, facing either direction. That could be kind of cool if there was a way to you to do it so the sword was facing out to the side for crazy driver mode. Now what really bothers me is that there are little notches here in the sword hilt, which kind of leads me to believe that there should be some groove or something that this can clip into. But really... This whole section here with the chest plate and the crotch piece, you know, there's no way to just clip that in except for what I showed you off to the side, which is just something I discovered and I'm not even really sure is official weapon storage. Like all warrior class figures, Sideswipe does feature a rather simple transformation. If you remember from the Prime Robots in Disguise line, uh, also commonly referred to as revealers, the wheeljack figure, this transformation scheme is somewhat similar, but unfortunately not as good. First, what you want to do is come in the front and go ahead and just separate the sides here. Just unpeg them and clip them out just like so. I mean, Basically, this front section clips over a uh, ridged piece, so there is a little finagling you have to do to separate it, and you want to pull it straight down, just like that. And as you can see, here are the tabs that I mentioned and how they peg in, and it's all clear plastic and not something that I feel is secure or won't break over time in kids' hands. Uh, there we go, and just bring it out and bring it down, just like so. Uh, next, what we can continue to do is come in the back and separate 
the legs. And this is actually a little cool bit of transformation to uh, bring the feet and legs around. What you want to do is go ahead, begin lifting this black section, which is the foot, and then rotating it from the rear wheel well. That will all come down, and you're going to have to adjust the foot around so it can clear that red section of the lower leg. Do it again on this side. You know, rotate from both positions, and there you have the legs done. Next, just come in th from the back here and unpeg the hood and, re you know, rear uh, hood and front bumper of the car. And now this is where things get a little iffy. The, the arm transformation is cool, but it's also a pain in the butt. What you want to go ahead and do is rotate the arm up at the wheel. Then go ahead and rotate this uh, the front wheel well down and around. And that will suppose that's supposed to just basically bring it up here on the up to the side. Now, right where my finger is, there's a tab. It's supposed to peg into a hole here in the torso. Again, right where my finger is, it's very hard to see on camera because a lot of parts get in the way. Unfortunately, this wheel well is thick enough that it doesn't allow that section to peg in properly. Um, and you have to rotate the wheel well around this way to free up the joint in the arm to have the forward and back arm movement. Now you're going to do that again on this side and then you bring and you bring it up like this now let me bring this in here a little bit uh, as you can see there are two tabs here and here as well as pegs there and there there are slots here as well as holes that this is all should peg into, as well as tabs here and here to fit into the slots on the chest. And basically, that should all come together securely and tightly. Now, what I also discover is if you go ahead and bring up this rear section and have that act as a leaning point, it will sort of hold things in place. But as you can see, it really doesn't. You start to move the arms, and it all comes undone. I don't know if a repaint of this mold, like with thicker paint, would hold it, that it will grab the joints better. I mean, pegging them in, them in you can actually, I mean, you can peg them in, and it holds, but it doesn't hold well. And unfortunately, that really is a major takeaway on this on site swipe and makes it a not good figure at all. One thing that is a plus of sorts is if you've seen in the show with his little ninja sword, there is storage. If you, right behind here, you see that clear hole section. Now you can grab the sword blade and with the blade actually facing towards the shoulder, you can slide that in and it will automatically and naturally fit in on a groove, on an angle. Just like so, and you have blade storage. You can do it. And actually, unfortunately, that's the only way that'll work. So, that I means it's specifically cut just to be able to fit in that exact way, which is how he does it in the cartoon. The sword can, of course, fit in the hand, although it kind of doesn't fit that well. I mean, I thought there would be tabs or something, I mean, it, and it, but it does hold. But unfortunately, once you start moving the arm around, and there is like a lot of articulation there, you do detach it from the chest panels, and it's just, just so disappointing.
from Wave 2 on of the Robots in Disguise Warrior line, I really thought Hasbro was making strides in the design and how the figures are made. Unfortunately, Sideswipe is not a good example of that. It's a terrible figure. It's not fun to play with. The transformation is kind of cool, but it, it's just once you start touching things, it all falls apart. And apparently it's not just mine. So I don't know if y'all have better luck with yours, getting the Takara version, waiting for the inevitable repaint of the mold will make it better. But as it is right now, the there are two sideswipe figures on the market better than this the legion class and the one step and the one step is that butterfly mold that was done to death in age of extinction a lot of people were looking forward to this figure and this is just disappointing how it is i i can't really just express just how disappointed i am Right now, the two best figures in the Robots in Disguise Warrior class line is Drift and Jazz. You can just easily skip Sideswipe. I mean, and if you have to have it, wait until it's discounted in clearance because I doubt anybody else is going to buy it. Or go for the Takara one and get a little better paint job. Speaking of which, there's supposedly coming later this year a two-pack a Sideswipe and Jazz, with Jazz repainted as Stepper, and the rumors being Sideswipe done in black as an homage to the G2 version of the mold. If you want it, buy it, but I won't. I mean, it's unless that mold is... They do massive improvements on this mold, which I doubt. Even for Stepper, it's not worth it. I got this figure as part of a set with Jazz from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I think you can get Jazz individually from Amazon.com and other online retailers. Go that route. This is your old pal Chuck for Sideswipe. We'll see you next time.